the Observer Bot is online. Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we're hitting two excellent papers on solar forcing, one on Arctic ice and the other on hydroclimate in the monsoon. We've also got looks at seismic activity, and of course, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring stuck in C-class range. South central filament nearly erupted there, got himself together midday. Strong coronal hole still turning through, and its plasma speed enhancement arrived in the solar wind overnight. Second panel from the bottom purple shows the rise in solar wind plasma speed up over 600 kilometers per second we're in minor geomagnetic storm conditions reverberating now it is expected to continue for a few days due to the length of the coronal hole meanwhile we're looking beneath the coronal veil to see more plasma filaments below still significant eruption threats especially since we are waiting on the sunspots somewhat empty central longitudes Big ones appearing to the left after other big ones disappeared to the right. We'll watch for central development and the turning in of these bright active regions at the limb now. Let's slide from space weather to seismicity, and the Santorini swarm continues. The supervolcanic magma chamber lies beneath the Cyclades, where this earthquake stutter has endured for a couple weeks now. Let's hit our two solar forcing studies up next. First, we come to a modulation of the amount and location of Arctic sea ice tied to the solar cycle. Some segments trend east or west based on solar activity, while others are purely about mass and surface coverage. And folks, monsoon impact might be one of the most published about connections to the sun's activity cycles. Here, we are confirming for the bajillionth time the importance of solar activity for hydroclimate cycles especially the monsoons that feed four to five billion people between India and China. Lots of fun events ongoing every week at Observer Ranch. Bring the kids, meet other observers, and definitely consider coming for one of our major events this year, including the Pole Shift Conferences, Grand Opening Weekend with Dr. Robitaille, or Kings of Catastrophe Weekend with Dr. Dunning. Your visit starts at ObserverRanch.com, which is also where you can get our books and where the Observer Bot lives. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.